Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek, and in today's tutorial guide video, I'm going to show you how you can add a business account on your TransferWise Money application. If you're new to our channel, then do make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also make sure to turn on the bell notifications in order to get notified whenever we post a new content or video. And without any further ado, let us get started. First of all, what you want to do is make sure you have downloaded the TransferWise application on your phone. If you don't have the TransferWise application installed on your phone, then simply open your Play Store if you're on your Android. And if you're on your iOS device, simply open your App Store. Once you've opened your respective App Stores, depending on whichever device you have on the top of the screen, you can see the search box. Simply click on it and type in TransferWise. Once you click on TransferWise, you will see the first option which says Wise also formerly known as TransferWise. So if you have not installed it before, then you will see a green install button if you're on your Android device. If you're on your iOS device, then you will see a cloud-like icon in order to download it. Simply click on the icon to download and verify the download using your Apple ID password or whichever security methods you have. So once you are sure that you have actually downloaded and installed the application on your phone, simply open the application on your phone and make sure that you're actually logged in. If you're not logged into your account, then you will have to enter your email address and the password. But since I was already logged in, it didn't ask me for anything. So what you want to do here is at the bottom right side of the screen, you want to go to accounts. And on the top of the screen, you can see currently I have a personal account underneath my name. So what you want to do is simply click on the arrow icon beside the personal account. And as you can see at the bottom, I have the other option which is called your business account. If you actually haven't set up a business account, you will see the option over right over here which says add a business account. So you simply want to click on add a business account and all of the process is actually the same. So when I click on my business account or when you click on your add a business account, you can click on edit business details. And over here, you first of all, what you want to do is you need to select a country while setting up your business account. And another, another thing you want to do is set up your company type. Once you click on both of these, you want to click on continue at the bottom of the screen and at the top, you want to select your business name and in the next box, what you want to do is select your registration number and in the third box, you can enter your website, but this is actually really optional, so you can leave it as it is. In the address section, enter where your company is located at and then you also need to enter your city and your zip code and then simply click on continue at the bottom of the screen again. Make sure you fill in all of the details correctly and once you fill in all of the details and credentials of your business, then simply click on continue. Once you do that, you will also have the option to select the category. And depending on your category, you can also select a subcategory. Once you select your categories properly, again at the bottom of the screen, you can see the option save. Simply click on save. Once you click on save, your business account will be updated and added successfully. So as you can see that we have successfully added our business account. When you click on it, you can see that we also have a personal account. So you have both of the accounts called business account and a personal account. So this is how you can add a business account on your TransferWise Money application really easily. We hope this video was helpful to you. If it did help you in any way, then do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe because we will bring you more awesome videos like this one on our channel. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video.